Hi, today's video is going to be on the Royal Mail privatization. So should you buy shares in Royal Mail? And if you do decide to buy, how do you go about doing so? Now the first thing to say is that yes, at first glance, Royal Mail looks like a pretty rubbish business. Most of us are sending far fewer letters than we did 10 or 20 years ago. And this is a company that over the long term has had pretty poor financial performance and rotten industrial track record, lots of strikes and work to rules and all the rest of it. But if you look a bit more closely, Royal Mail is actually a rather attractive business. And that's because it's positioned in a sexy growth area. That's the parcels business. In fact, almost half of Royal Mail's revenue now comes from parcels. And as internet shopping continues to inevitably, inevitably grow, I think Royal Mail's parcels business will grow with it. So the only question is, can Royal Mail's parcels business grow fast enough to outweigh the decline in the old fashioned letters business? Now it looks like it's probably going to work out fine and there's enough growth in parcels for that to happen. So, uh, you know, that makes it seem like, well, Royal Mail is potentially an interesting investment. So the next question is, well, what will the price be? Is the valuation reasonable? Well, we don't know what exactly the share price will be for the sale, but we do know it will be somewhere between 260p per share and 330p. And that works out at a market value of between 2.6 billion, that's a market cap of 2.6 billion, or 3.3 billion pounds. Now, Royal Mail made a profit last year of 324 million pounds. So if actually in the end, the Royal Mail is sold at the highest possible price, 330p, it's a 3.3 billion market cap, the company will have very, very roughly a sort of price earnings multiple of around nine or 10. And that's quite reasonable for a company with a bit of growth potential. And Royal Mail is also planning to pay quite a generous dividend. And at that highest price, at that 330p share price, that dividend will work out at just over 6% dividend yield. So you've got a company where profits actually grew 60% up from the previous year, that's paying a dividend yield of just over 6%. That looks like quite an attractive valuation. And I think that's why a lot of retail investors will want to get involved. So how do you actually do it? How do you actually buy shares? Well, you need to apply for shares and hopefully if things go well, you'll then be granted all the shares you apply for. But if there's big demand, you may not get everything that you ask for. You also, if you're going to make an application, you've got to apply for at least £750 worth of shares. Now, there's a Royal Mail website where you can make that application. The site is royalmailshares.service.gov.uk. Or you could also apply via most of the well-known stockbrokers such as Hargreaves Lansdowne. So you make the application, you need to do it by Tuesday, October the 8th, and then hopefully you'll get some shares back. And the good news is that the institutions, they've also been allowed to apply for shares in a separate sale. So the government have, have reserved some of the shares for private investors and some of the shares for the big institutions. And the reports are coming through that the institutional demand has been high. So that means that the share price is likely to be closer to 330 than 260. In fact, it may well come in at 330p. And the good news is if the institutional demand is so high, that means there's a good chance that private retail investors will be able to sell their shares onto the institutions for a quick profit shortly after they bought. Or alternatively, private investors may decide to let, you know, hang on for the long term. But there's at least an opportunity there for a quick profit if you want one. Now, don't get me wrong, nothing is guaranteed in life. There are potential problems. It looks like there's going to be another Royal Mail strike at the end of October. And there are also other competitors coming into the parcels business. And so Royal Mail's growth may not be as large as I'm suggesting. But for me, it looks pretty attractive. A decent valuation, prospects for growth, and plenty of profit being made and growing profits. So I think a lot of private investors will understandably be very interested. And whatever you decide to do, good luck.